You may remember. I do. I have a brain. No. You may remember how I once drank the forbidden juice, the black water. But this, my friends, this is the real forbidden juice. This, if you remember the whole date th <clears throat> Air and water, it was a real danger. The date on this water bottle is 13th of November, 2019. That means the microplastics are out in force fighting those frogs. But, not only that, but this is a double trouble. Since this water bottle has been opened for months. In the heat, in the cool, it's been frozen, unfrozen, melted, evaporated, consolidated. It's been all the things. But now, it's about to be a part of me, Dale. What an honor. First, structurally, I'm gonna give it a five. Not really there, I'm like holding it together. It's... Giving bad architecture. <laughs> Why it's so gloopy? But now, the taste test. A twinge, a twinge of taste is put in this thing. One could say. Interesting. Now, we've lost the cap, lads. The cap is gone. <laughs> we found the cap. No, no we've, we've dropped the cap. This has been a roller coaster of emotions. First we lost it, then we found it. And now it's in a place I don't want to go to. But for now, no cap on this water bottle. <laughs> Just like the common youthful phrase, no cap. Little do they know, use when they use the phrase, no cap. Little do they know that they're actually referencing the conundrum of having a water bottle with no cap. It means that not only is it easier to drink from a said bottle, but also harder to transport. You really gotta play the game there on these mind games. Brain games, if you will. They're games before your mind. Keep sharp out there, boys. So is the phrase bottoms up. Now, bottoms up is an interesting phrase because you're taking the bottom and putting it up. And the up is not usually where the bottom is, so it implies that you're moving something. But the air torments my brain. Not my brain. My brain is gaming right now. My brain's having a blast. My airways, airways, air traffic control has not validated that water to go down. But yet, somehow, yet it did. Who? Back to the bottle. If we had a new segment, we would say back to the bottle. Back to the bottle. <laughs> yeah, we would. It tastes funky. No wrapper anymore. 
This one came wrapperless. I actually probably had a wrapper, but the wrapper's been disposed of. Its crinkleability, though, gives it a nice feature where it can go up. We ride the seas. <laughs> the airways. Oh. You remember that face, don't you? This point of face. Just They all will have <coughs> reminder to Dale, to Dale from Dale, to stop drinking this water, or Dale himself will become the water bottle, and the earth will become the recipient. Time for this to go. Is this the beginning of the end? No one can tell for sure. Structurally, this water bottle gets a zero. Not only did not hold up to anything, it's too gloopy. And if you can't even get past the gloopiness, it's just all around, just kind of bad, kind of blare. There's nothing really there going for it. Even the, no, no label to look at. It's gone. The water tastes funky. Not funky fresh like you use, say. Funky bad. There's a difference. And doinkability cannot be tested until the water's finished. And Dale no longer has the capacity like he once did in his youthful days of Funky Fresh. Which means it is time for this water bottle to join his cousins. now outside the Dale Mobile. Look at these things. Objects, if you will. What's up guys, Dale here. Back for yet another water bottle review. You may have thought by the the weird, the weird, the wonderful, the funky beginning of this video that Dale was getting himself in a predicament. But no, that was just the beginning. That whole false start with the water bottle was just a con. I was playing the long game. You were the pawn. This is the very start of the episode where I review that very water bottle. I faked not finishing. Why is there still water bottle water left in the bottle? It's for me to review right now. Now, unfortunately, the part of this video that was not a con is the water being on the roof and me being down here. Due to unfortunate circumstances, the water bottle is unreachable. Easily fixable, sure. And yet, so far. Now to the review. In short, structurally, snails wouldn't like it. You may wonder why I bring up snails in these trying times. And that's a fair question to behold. And yet, we seem to, we seem to really enjoy the frog's opinions. So why not snails also? 
Fair question. Time to really be thinking. Really, really use that noggin. And snails, what do they not like? Salt. Water, what does it not like? Also salt. Drink salt water, you pass away on the spot. Fish, they love it. But people, not so much. They will pass away. They will go back to their origins. Water. Now that might not sound too bad, but sometimes it's not time for some of us. Sometimes, sometimes we want to stay around a little water. Freudian slip. If any of you had any doubts about my credibility and credentials, all you need to know is that I just said water instead of longer. Now that, my friends, is what we call hidden intentions. Hidden value, hidden meaning. Which means I'm really valuing water here. It's really one of my priorities. But enough of that. Enough of snails. Actually, not enough of snails. Let's go back to that. Snails don't like salt. Kills them. Water, salt, makes salt water. Big brain thinking on naming that one. And what does salt water not like? People. People drink it. Pass away. That's why there's no more pirates anymore. Couldn't bear it. There was water. Undrinkable. Unobtainable. And when people talk about the blue pool of water, what they didn't realize is the blue pool was the ocean the entire time. They were being fooled. Befuddled, really. Into thinking of false reality. Now, I must reclaim what is rightfully ours and review that water bottle. You all were triply fooled. This is the real beginning of the video. That part was rightfully had, rightfully downed, down the gullet of one Dale water bottle reviewist. That review still has meaning. This water bottle, too crinkly to be of any use to anyone. And the water, too strange to find its home with any rightful guest. But this, my friends, is the third true... This is... No. This is the only... The one and only... The one and only true beginning to this video where I will actually review this water bottle. Now, some of you might be wondering what Dale is doing. What are these tactics? After all, Dale doesn't even know what brand this water bottle is. Dale is sitting in the Dale Mobile at dusk or dawn or whatever one of the in-between times of the day is in his car doing really weird things with these water bottles. Dale could be doing a lot of different things right now. One of those being schoolwork. Another one of those things being literally anything else. And yet Dale is choosing to be in here reviewing this water bottle right here, right now. And if that doesn't sound like true devotion, I don't know what is. So now to reviewing time. Form and function. I say they chose function over form. But in some ways, the form inhibits the function. I give it a 4 out of 10. Dreadful, really. Mmm, really a good sip. Rare out of a water bottle like this. It's one of those things that makes you just want to go, Abraham Lincoln too, back from the dead. You're right, I said it. Now, we have finished the bottle. Now we can test boinkability. Dreadful, dreadful boinkability. It will simply conform to its enemies. Not what you look for in a good leader. There was once a good leader of the water bottles. It's 
not what it once was, though. Water bottles are not meant for the battlefield. They're meant for human consumption. Now, you probably heard that and thought, where's Dale going this time? He's probably going somewhere, somewhere silly, somewhere goofy. I'm going to get a laugh out of this. This is no laughing matter. This is water we're talking about. Water is what keeps us alive. It's what keeps the frog economy going. It's what made camels animals all those 500 years ago when the camels were invented. It's true history. True history. Oh. The airways. If I was an air traffic controller, the first thing I would wonder is if I was like an Xbox controller. But then someone would say to me, no, it's a different kind of controller. And then I would get confused and lost, and I would not be a controller anymore. And that, my friends, is why I am reviewing this here water bottle. And last video series, I talked about Norway and all that water and all that scams. And I have a message for you, Norwegian government. Not only have you been plundering the high seas, trying to capture the blue myth, the blue legend that has been proven false, but the Scandinavian government has been doing all sorts of little things. And you might be like, Sammy, I thought you said the North... No. No. Where was I? Blue myth, blue legend, Norwegian government. Sounds about right. 